If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Jmeter series. In this season 4 episode 2, we are going to see about module controller in Jmeter. Module controller provides a mechanism for substituting test plan fragments into the current test plan at runtime. To understand better, let us see a quick example where we have the pet store test plan and once you add the module controller anywhere in your test plan it will just display the tree view of your thread group and its controllers and also you will have the option of find a target element suppose if you select a controller or select a thread group if you click on find the target element it will just reach us there and then it will just display which element you are targeting to understand better let us see a quick example so here we have the pet store test plan with a search thread group and add to cart thread group and inside the search thread group we have the home simple controller and search simple controller and under the add to cart we have the add to cart simple controller and whenever you add the module controller in the search thread group it will list out all the thread groups and all the controllers as shown in the figure and also you will have the option of finding the target element. So you have to just select the controller and if you click on the find target element, it will just reach us there and then it will display the element. And you can add multiple module controllers in your test plan, but make sure you have given the unique name. Otherwise, Jmeter will not be able to identify which uh, target element to execute. Let us see a quick demo to understand uh, in detail. This is my sample test plan where we have the search thread group and we have the add to cart thread group. Inside the search thread group we have home controller which is a simple controller and we have the search and under add to cart thread group we have the add to cart simple controller. Assume that you have to include add to cart in your search thread group. One thing you can do is you can just duplicate this and then you can just paste it inside but no need to do that that is where the module controller comes into picture where you have to achieve the reusability in a simple manner. To add the module controller inside the thread group just right click on search thread group in this case and go to add logic controller and select module controller. Whenever you add the module controller as you see it is displaying all the thread groups and the controllers and whenever you want to reach a certain element the target element you have to just select and click on find a target element. So once you click on find a target element, it will automatically reach us there and that will display the right controller. In this case, we are going with add to cart the group. So we have to just select the uh, add to cart, the module and just drag and drop just uh, above the view results tree, uh, the module controller and you, you can rename this controller to uh, add to uh, cart module controller and let us uh, execute the test plan. So here what will happen is first it will execute the home uh, samplers and it will execute the search sampler and then if you go to add to cart sampler you can see the request 5 and 6. So this add to cart samplers is getting called in this module controller because we are selecting the add to cart in our module controller. So when it executes sequentially first it will execute home then it will execute search, then it will come to add to cart module controller, then Jmeter will identify the add to cart um, module and it will execute HTTP request 5 and 6. Like this you can add module controller whenever you want, wherever you want and make sure you are selecting the right module to run. And if you want to trace back where the module is coming from, you can make use of the find target element. So this will give you the flexibility, reusability factor. So no need to create multiple scripts. You can definitely make a reuse of, for example, a login scenario or log off scenario or searching for an item. So these business uh, frequently used business scenarios, you can put it under the module controller and then you can make a call whenever you need. So that's it guys of my side. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Feel free to join QA Insights community. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.